Hey Pacers, I'm Kyron. We'll go check out track and field with a special guest. You are? Brian Lewis. And what'd you do? I am a track and field gold medalist, ran in the 2000 Olympic Games, uh, part of the United States 4x100 relay team. How did it feel to be in the Olympics and win the A gold medal? Well, being in the Olympics was awesome. Uh, very big experience. Uh, it was something I kind of, I had a small dream about it uh, as a high school kid when I first kind of learned about track and field. So it's never too late to learn the sport. And uh, I took it from there. And like I said, I had a lot of support system behind me between my mom, my coach, high school coach. Uh, even Coach Reed was part of that uh, process as well. So, like I said, I thank everybody for that. And I just have a love for the sport. How did uh, going to the Olympics influence you to become a new coach? Oh, wow. I want to see other people uh, feel the same success that I had, uh, the joy, the excitement. Like I say, uh, also, I mean, it took me to a free education in college. So, I mean, I loved that part. Uh, I loved just the excitement of, you know, seeing other people win. Wait, this is the real answer. What's your time? Well, my personal best is 9.96 seconds for 100 meters, uh, which also had me ranked in the top two in the world in 2000 uh, as far as a 100-meter sprinter. So it was awesome. Oh, thank you for talking. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sue. Oh, I was hand. There you yeah. go. Thank you. <laughs> but yep, anybody want to come out and run, we're here. You guys are? Jade. Natalia James. Uh, why should someone join track and field? I think everybody should at least try it. It's open to everybody. It's fun. You know, come out, have fun. Anybody could do it. So how has your coach being a gold medalist affect you guys? Having somebody who's reached the highest level is inspiring. It's kind of cool, you know, to see where he came from and him being from Sacramento. And even this district is cool. Anything else you like to add? Go Pacers, man. <laughs> you heard her now. Go Pacers. <laughs> you are? What do you do? I'm Coach Reed, the head uh, track coach here at Grand High School. Been there for 30 years. Uh, as, a co as a coach, what do you think these new runners need? Well, first you got to come off with a positive attitude and not be afraid to challenge yourself. And we can't, you only can control what you can control. Don't worry about winning and losing because you have no control over that other than who's faster and who's not faster than you. So you got to come and prepare yourself mentally and physically to be able to come out for track. But it's not, it's, we have more than sprinting. Everybody thinks track is about sprinting. It's not about sprinting. We have long distance runners out here. We have uh, shot putters, biggest people out there throwing the shot put. We also have uh, pole vault and long jump. We don't do pole vault yet, but we have high jump and triple jump as well. So it's about 12 different events they can actually do out here. What do you think were trials they would face as the time progresses? Well, uh, one thing about it, you're going to get more and more, uh, as you get in the season, the competition gets a little bit harder, but that's the fun part of it. If you're training and what you're doing is say you're racing yourself every week. You're technically not racing the people. You're just trying to improve yourself every week. And you have people that you can actually race against to see how you do. But that's not what I'm focused on. If you can beat them, I'm seeing that your time, your distance is improving every week. You become a better athlete. Is there any equipment you think anyone should bring? Uh, biggest equipment is a heart and a good attitude. That's really number one equipment. Once you get bring that out, you're ready. But see, our track shoes I got right now, I was able to pick up some track shoes. If you should probably look at some of the kids have them on right now. I got those for $5. They're brand new. They're um, I go to Ross store. And don't get an expensive pair of track shoes. Go to Ross and look around and grab a pair of track shoes. And that's what you need right now. And just uh, practice, um, just clothes to practice in, you know, sweats or stuff like that. Um, that's really all it is because uh, we had a meet last week, they tell you about that. We had an all comers meet last week and some of the kids did very well. We kind of do start early than most schools because that's just me. Because <laughs> I want the kids to be the, I train every kid to be a champion. If you're coming out here, I'm not training you, I'm training you like, my best runner no matter what. You know? So that's why I said, like, I want more kids to come out. But don't think you have to be a sprinter. You have to be fast to come out for track. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. I just got done interviewing field and track and the gold medalist. And I'm going to go. I should probably run.